So today I'm going to be doing this really glamorous and glowy uh, sparkly look. This will be good for like maybe a party or an event, um, something that you have to be a little bit more glamorous. This is like really full coverage and more uh, a more elaborate look, but it's not hard at all. I love how this look turned out and I hope that you love it as well. So I'm not going to ramble too much. If you want to see how to get this really glamorous and glowy look, then just keep watching. So to prime my face today, I'm going to be using my Mario Badescu Rose Water. And I like using this because it gives me extra moisture. And also, it's a little bit tacky as it dries. So it would help the foundation really, really stay onto place. Wait a few minutes until your skin really absorbs it. To start the skin today, I'm going to be using three different products. I know. It's a little excessive, but bear with me. I want my foundation to be really, really full coverage, but I also want it to be super luminous. So for that reason, I'm gonna make a little mixture of my Milani um, Conceal Perfect Foundation. And to that, I'm gonna be adding my Smashbox Photo Finish. Uh, this is just like a, a primer oil, so it will help make your foundation long lasting as well as adding a little bit more of moisture to it. And then lastly, I'm gonna be going in with my Jelly Pong Pong. Uh, this is the Liquid Glossomator, and this is a water-based highlighter, basically. And what this is gonna do is just adding a little bit more of a, a glow, uh, per se, all over the face. So in my little bowl right here, I'm probably gonna add probably two pumps of this. So I only have a little sample. Uh, I believe the full size has a, a dropper actually. Uh, this doesn't. So I'm just going to go very carefully and probably going to just do a very one or two drops of this. That would just help make a full coverage foundation very, very glowy um, and more skin-like and not so flat. One, two. This is a liquid uh, highlighter. I hope you can see it. My lights are super duper blinding. It just gives a very, very beautiful glow. And this could be used, as I said, you can just, you could just like tap this onto the, your cheekbones and then set it with a, another highlighter or just leave it as it is. And this would be beautiful. I'm just gonna add one little drop onto that mixture and then we're gonna start applying. For my concealer today, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Weightless Concealer under my eyes. And I know that it looks like a lot, but I'm very, I'm doing very like thin, like I only pulled out one time and that's it. I'm not going in for more. And to give a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Cosmetics Boing. Dab this right here. Again, I'm gonna go and blend it with my Beauty Blender. So to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with my RCMA Translucent Powder, and I love this powder. There's a reason why it's so hyped up. It's such an amazing product. It doesn't really make you dry or it doesn't look cakey or just like tightens my skin. It's just, it's such a good powder. Um, and you can use this to set your whole face if you're oilier. It is, I think it would work perfectly. I got mine on beautylish.com. Uh, I believe. Um, I will try to link it down below for you if I can find it. Sometimes it's sold out, so just wait until it comes back and it's $12. It's just super, super affordable. Dip my damp beauty blender right onto this cap. I grab it a little bit right there and then I just, I look up and I go as if I was baking, but I'm not really going to bake it. I'm just going to apply it 
Beauty Blender is damp, not like soaking wet. So it's not gonna work. I just, I love how just smooth and, and flawless this makes your skin look. It's so, so, so good. And then to set my whole face very lightly because I wanna keep this very glowy, uh, I'm gonna go in with my MAC um, skin finish, uh, mineralized skin finish. And mine is in the shade medium plus. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E3. And I'm just gonna set it very lightly though. Basically on the center of the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour and I'm gonna be using my Benefit Hoola bronzer. I'm gonna use my Morphe M530. I'm gonna really concentrate this right up here. And notice how I'm, I'm holding the brush all the way down the bottom because that's when you know you're gonna have a light application. If I hold my brush right here, the pressure and the, the strength of my hand holding onto the brush, it's gonna make it such a harsh uh, application and we don't want that anywhere. I'm gonna do very lightly run this on my hairline. So using that same Hoola bronzer, I'm gonna get a uh, fluffier angled brush and I'm gonna lightly do contour my nose. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows off camera. And if you like to see a super, super in-depth uh, brow tutorial, I'm still working on my editing skills, but if I can put it on the screen so you can click on this link, uh, I would do that for you. If not, I will link it down below and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my NARS uh, shadow base. I am just going to use my fingers because I'm too lazy to get a brush. So now I'm gonna zoom you in so you can actually see what I'm doing from up close. So for today's eyes, I'm gonna be going in with my Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. So for my transition shade, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Reflection. So I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe M441. And apply this. onto my crease. So I just like to go back and forth like this. And then I do a little bit of a circular motion. And then back and forth again. And then circular motion again. So now for a lid shade, I'm gonna be using this shade right here. It's called Paradox. I'm going to be spraying my brush with some Fix Plus. And I'm using here a Sigma E54. This is a, it's called a medium sweeper. Building up that intensity that I want. So now I'm just gonna go back with that, the first brush and just really blend this uh, two shades together, but no additional product. Just to get rid of the harsh lines. So now to add a little more depth onto my outer corners and a little bit more definition to the crease, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Chest 
board. And for that I'm going to be using my Sigma E39, which is a, uh, a buffing brush. Concentrate this right here. And to clean everything up and to highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna grab this shade right here. And this is a, what is this? Let me read the name. This is an Inglot eyeshadow number 355. But basically it's just an ivory um, matte shade. I'm gonna take a brush like this. Um, this is from Merlin Norman. So I'm just going to dip my brush to that shadow and I'm gonna go right here on my brow bone and that's gonna help blend our crease colors as well and just to clean up any little imperfections that the blending might have done it also helps to highlight and lift our eyes And then I go right here underneath and sharpen my eyeshadow. Just like that. Perfect. Super fun part. I'm going to go in with this Lit Cosmetics. Uh, it's a glitter pigment. It's like really super finely uh, milled it and I love this. I'm so, I'm just, I'm so obsessed with this. Um, I purchased not that long ago, but I can stop using it. It's just, it looks good on top of everything, on the inner corner. It's just, it's super, super shiny and I love this packaging. Since I don't have a really good glitter glue, I'm just go, gonna go back with my NARS uh, eye primer. So I have my pigment open in front of me. I put, I got my primer right here. And I'm going to do petting motion on top of my eyeshadow, but by no means dragging because that would just get rid of all of our hard work. So I'm just patting very lightly where I want this pigment to go. And then I'll go back and I dip my brush onto this pigment. And I start to packing onto my eye. Oh, it's so pretty. I just want to look like this every day of my life. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab a, a fluffier uh, blending brush and I'm gonna go back with that same uh, chestnut shade that we use on our outer corners and I'm just gonna go over this and uh, define a little bit more. I'm just gonna make a super thin uh, line using my uh, Maybelline um, this is the gel line um, in blackest black. It's just such a good gel line. And I'm going to use a little angled brush like this. And I'm just going to trace a really thin line really close to my lash line. So what I like to do next, I'm just going to grab a a nice uh, matte black uh, shadow, and I'm just gonna set this uh, gel liner. I'm 
I'm gonna try to clean up this fallout right here the best I can. So just coat your lashes with any mascara. Uh, I'm gonna be using my Benefit Roller Lash today. So I'm gonna go back with my gel liner and pretty much tight line my eyes using the same angled brush. So now I'm going to apply my lashes and I'm using red cherry lashes and these are uh, number 217. So to finish the eyes, I'm going to go back with that chessboard shade in a uh, fluffier brush and I'm going to go all the way on my lower lash line and I'm going to stop about right here. So on the outer. Um, portion of my lower lash line and I'm gonna go back with that peachy shade paradox and I'm gonna go and concentrate this on the inner uh, lower lash line so I'm gonna apply the same mascara on my bottom lashes Not to completely finish off the eyes I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's called royal flush and a little pencil brush and I'm gonna highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Now to finish off the whole face, I'm gonna go in with my uh, Becca uh, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Face Palette and I'm gonna use the blush right here. It's called Amaretto. It's a really, it's a little bit of a darker blush for me, so I'm not sure I can use it as a blush. So I'm gonna use it actually as a bronzer to warm up my, my skin a little bit more. So to go on top of that, I'm gonna use uh, this shade right here. It's the shimmery, it's a shimmery um, shade. It's called Rose Spritz, and I'm gonna use my um, Morphe E4. It's very, very pretty. I just literally put it right here and mix them both together. So now for the fun part, I'm going to be highlighting uh, this part of my face and I'm going to be using Champagne Pop from the same palette and this is a Sigma F37. So I'm just going to grab Champagne Pop and I'm going to dust it all over. You see that? Ooh. So now with a more precise highlighting brush I'm going to grab Prosecco Pop which is the more uh, like the golden highlighter. And I'm going to concentrate this just right here. So this is gonna give that really, really blinding highlight. And then I'm gonna highlight my cubist gold. I do the tip of my nose. And I like to deposit the product with my finger and then I go back with the brush and just kind of blend it. So now for lips, I'm going to be using this lipstick from Trifle. I believe it's Trifle. Trifle Cosmetics. Um, look at how cute this package is. Oh my god, there's a plug here on his little face. Um, but it's just like a really beautiful uh, nude. And I thought it would be like perfect for this look. To top it off, I'm gonna go in with this uh, Merlin Norman gloss, and this is in the shade Shy, and it's just like a really nice nude. Uh, I wanted to keep everything like glowy and sparkly. So that's it for this video. I hope that you love it. I think it's like a super 
glamorous and still like springy-ish summer. I hope that you love this as much as I did. And if you like this video, if you found it helpful or if you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up because it really, really helps my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.